Hi everyone, and welcome to Scrap and Rabbit. This is Christine. It's been a while since I've uploaded a mini album related video. I think the last video I uploaded was about a month ago and it was about making tags with some leftover pieces of scrap that I had. And uh, I took a bit of a break from paper crafting. I wanted to try something different. So I, I did some painting, some drawing, um, I did some work with jewelry. I had bought a whole container full of old pieces of jewelry and I took them apart and I started making these little bookmarks. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with all of these, but they were a lot of fun to do, so I made a whole bunch of them. Anyways, sometimes it's nice to try something different, and then you feel fresh and happy to come back to your original passion, which was making mini albums for me. And I came up with this design, and this is about envelopes mail. And the reason for that is I recently made some new printables, and they're cute little mini envelopes. This is one set. I've got two sets. One set is uh, flowers and another set is pictures of vintage ladies. I did make some other printables with the vintage ladies as well and I made these into little mini envelopes and I figured I can use these in my journaling and scrapbooking. And what these are is they're sized for artist trading cards and the artist trading cards measure three and a half by two and a half and these little envelopes measure almost four inches by three inches just over three inches and they come in two sizes so basically there's six different images and they come in a flat envelope and also as a dimensional little box because sometimes artist trading cards will be dimensional, especially with the, the mixed media, so they might fit better in a thicker little envelope. So I made that. And inside these little envelopes, because this is letter themed, there's a little note paper and the little design matches the design on the card. So I thought, why not make a little album using these? Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I make it from scratch. You don't need to use these. You can use whatever you already have on hand and just use whatever scrapbook paper you have. You don't need to use envelopes. You can just make a little mini album and add your own photos. Now for this one, I use this paper stack. It's called Boardwalk Sherbet from Craftsmith. And I had this kicking around for a while and uh, I decided to use up some of the pieces to make this little mini album and here's one of the tags from that collection on the back and I put a little bow here, there's a little pearl and you can write either a title or a name on that. But in keeping with my letter theme, this is shaped like an envelope. I have a little flower on the front, a little bling here and this opens with a magnet and here's a little mini album that's inside. It says first class all the way and I have a little envelope on here. It's tied with a ribbon. This is super simple to do. I did this in less than one day. Uh, you can probably make one easily in an afternoon. The reason it took me a day to make it is because I was also doing the filming for this tutorial and writing some of the steps down in the dimensions. So you can go to my website and download the, um, the dimensions for free. It's a PDF file and it gives you the supplies that I used and the cutting dimensions as well as this little template here on the front that you can print on whatever cardstock you want and um, if you wanted to use that on the front of your little envelope, on, on the front of your little album. Now for those of you who are already into scrapbooking and making mini albums, this is going to be so super simple. All the pages are the same, but you can always add your own flaps if you want. And all it is is two holes. I use some eyelets, some ribbon to hold the envelope closed. So let me just take you quickly through it. So each page is just a pocket. It's made with one piece of 
paper. The base page is made with one piece of paper and then I just added this pocket here but then there's a pocket on the side and I just left this blank for journaling. And here's the little envelope, little letter and this is from the second set with the uh, the vintage ladies. So here's a little note paper where you can do some journaling in here. So that's why my title is First Class All the Way for First Class Mail. This little heart on the back. So each of these has a pocket and I put one of these little envelopes in there. But likewise, you can just put a tag in there, you can just put a photo, whatever you want. Mementos. And I like these little albums. They're quick to make. Uh, think craft fair if you want to make them. Sell them at a craft fair. I mean, they don't take long to do. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to make it. I'll include a link to the printables if you want them. And uh, also a link to the instructions for the it's just a video tutorial. I don't have all the steps written down in the PDF, but I do have the supplies and the cutting dimensions. So if you download this first, and then you'll know what size to cut all of your pieces. So let's get started. I'm using this thick paper. It actually feels almost like cardstock from a paper stack to make the page and I only need the one piece of paper and then I'm going to attach the little pocket separately. So I start with my first piece and I place this on my scoreboard and on the 8 inch side I'm going to score at half an inch and at four and a quarter inches. I, score, I fold this down like that. And I fold that up like that. Now you can have your seam at the bottom if you like. So now I'm going to put some two sided tape along the bottom half inch seam and that's just going to fold down over like that Now I can see a bit of the white edge on this side, so I'm just going to trim this off with my scissors. Okay. So there's the base page. Now I want to attach a pocket on here. When I cut my, my pocket, I indicate in the cutting dimensions to cut slightly larger than the five and a quarter inch. And in a few minutes, I'll show you why. But first, I'm going to score my pocket. So place your pocket lengthwise against the left edge of your scoreboard and score at half an inch. Then I'm going to score at half an inch from the right edge of my pocket. Now because this might not line up exactly with one of the, um, the score lines, if I line this up against the left edge, I'm just going to line up my right edge of the pocket with one of these marks and I'm going to score at half an inch. Next I'm going to cut straight across on the edge of the pocket like that in the seam and then for the bottom I'm going to cut on a slight angle like that. And I fold my seams up like that. Okay. 
Now, when I attach this pocket, I want it to be flush with the right edge. I'm going to slide this along the outside edge of the pocket, and it's going to be flush like that. And then I'm going to attach it along the bottom, and also this end here. Now you can see that this is flush, and that's why I instructed to cut it a little bit wider than what you need, because if I had cut it exactly five and a quarter inches to fit this with the seam, when I attached my pocket, it would have been offset like that, and I wanted it to be flush with the end, so that's why I instructed to cut a little bit wider. So now I'm going to put a piece of two-sided tape in here. Because that's going to tape on the inside. And this will tape on top of my page. So I'm going to put my, just use this one, I'm going to put my two-sided tape on the outside here. The right, or sorry, the left edge will be held down by the eyelets, but I'm still going to go ahead and put a little piece of tape on there anyways, just to hold it down. So I'm going to start by lining up the bottom. two-sided tape backing. There we go. So my little envelope will fit in the pocket. Now I'm going to put my eyelets on the side. And to do that, I cut a piece of paper that's the same height as my page. So it measures three and three quarters high. And I'm going to punch my holes about inch from the edge. So I want my holes to be identical on both sides, centered. So I'm folding this in two, and that's going to show me the center of the page, like that. And then I can decide where I want to put my holes. So I think here would be good. Like that, and about a quarter inch from the edge. So then I'm going to fold this in two. I want the holes to be the same on both sides. So I'm going to use this as a template. My crop a dial to punch the holes and set the eyelets. You don't need to put eyelets if you don't want to. You can just go ahead and punch holes without setting eyelets. There we go. I store my eyelets in this box 
But I bought these at my local hardware store. I can't remember how much they cost, but I was surprised at how many I bought for the price. I think it's a lot cheaper than if I had bought them at a craft store. I bought these years ago and I still have lots left. They came, I think, in brass and gold and black in the one package. So there's my page and my little envelope fits in here. So go ahead and make however many pages you want. I'm going to make six of these. I've cut my covers and I'm going to start by wrapping the front cover. I put some two-sided tape on here, and this is the paper I'm using on the front. And I'm going to center this on my paper like that. I have about an inch on the right and on the left, a little bit less than an inch at the top and the bottom because I cut two of these pieces out of my 12 by 12. So this fits six inches and six inches up. backing and I'm just going to center that on there like that. Next I'm going to trim the corners diagonally so that I can wrap this and I'm going to cut about an eighth of an inch from each of the corners. Don't go any closer than an eighth of an inch because you don't want the chipboard to show. And if you don't have any of this chipboard, you can use a corrugated box, a card, cardboard, and anything that's stiff enough to make a cover. Then I'm going to put some two-sided tape along the edges of my chipboard. And also along the paper. this diagonal cut. And that's going to help pull those corners down. And I just about finished my roll of tape. Okay, so now I'm going to bend this like that to form the folds. Okay. I'm going to start at this end. I'm going to remove the tape backing from here and halfway up to the corner. And I remove the tape backing from this edge. And I fold this up. Same thing on this side. And then I flip 
flip this around, I'm going to remove the rest of that tape backing. So I've got this stuck under here. Okay, now I'm going to push in here, right in the corner, I'm going to form this like that, just by pushing in with my nail on that side and on this side. So that it wraps just around the corner here. And then I can oops, remove my tape packing from this edge. And I fold up. Make sure it's nice and snug. And it's well adhered. Do the same thing. I'm going to push those corners in and then I fold up. Like that. So there's the outside of my front cover. Now if you wanted to attach some ribbon around your cover, you would do so before putting the, um, the liner on the inside if you wanted the ribbon to wrap around. I'm not going to put any ribbon on this little album. I'm going to embellish the cover, but it's going to be very plain because I want it to slide inside my larger envelope. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover the inside. So I'm going to take this piece of paper. And to measure the liner, I'm going to position this just about an eighth of an inch from the left edge and from the top. So there's just a little border showing, and I'm going to mark where I need to trim. So you don't need to measure before you cut, you just mark where you need to cut. tape around the edges of the liner. backing from one end and position that on there. You can ink around the edges if you like to save time. I'm not going to ink on this one. Ready. This is going to be my back, and this is the front, and I'm going to punch the holes. Instead of using my little piece of paper, because I've punched quite a few holes in that already, I'm just going to use one of my little pages as a template, and I'm going to place this on here, and I'll just use a pen, and I'm going to mark where I want to punch my holes. So I'm going to leave a little bit of space on the right because I want to protect these little edges. 
and I guess I'm going to go in about uh, maybe a quarter inch, one eighth to a quarter inch, and then I center top to bottom like that. It can be approximate like that. And now I'm going to grab my crocodile. for the bottom. Because this is thick, I'm going to press around the edges of the eyelet, make sure it went through properly because it's, it's quite thick. You can tie your little mini album whichever way you prefer. You can put two pieces of ribbon around each section here if you like. I'm just using one long piece of ribbon and what I did is I ran it through the top hole and then the top hole of each of these envelopes and then out the back and then I ran it through the bottom hole coming up the bottom here like that. So I've got one piece and I'm just going to tie it into a bow and this makes it easy to undo if you need some more thickness because of the embellishments or whatever that you're putting in there. But you can also just do it with two pieces of ribbon. Now because this is going into um, an envelope, a dimensional envelope, I didn't use rings because it would be too bulky. If you're not putting it in an envelope, obviously you can just use rings or whatever you prefer to do this. I'm not very good at tying bows. Let's try this again. Now I'm going to finish embellishing this a little bit later. Right now I want to go and work on the envelope that this is going to fit in. I'm going to make my envelope from this paper, but before I do that I need to create a template. 
So start with a piece of paper that measures 11 inches wide by 11 inches high. And we're going to fold it in two diagonally. So make sure the points meet evenly. It's nice and straight and fold. Then open it up and rotate it and do the same thing on the other side. Like that. So you end up with this and it shows where the center is. Now I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to put a mark at 3 and 1 8 inches above the center and 3 and 1 8 inches below the center. So there's my 3 and 1 8 here. There's my center. So I put a mark up here and then 3 and 1 8 below the center. Here. Then on this side, I'm going to mark two and a quarter inches above and two and a quarter inches below. There's two and a quarter. And then here's two and a quarter. What I do is I'm going to fold this. I'm going to flip it over first and I'm going to fold this corner up, making sure it lines up with my center line right up to the first mark here. Like that. Now here's my mark. Make sure this is nice and straight and then fold. I do the same thing on the other side, fold it up until I see my, my mark. The mark goes down here, make sure this is nice and straight, and fold. Next, I turn it around this way, and I'm going to do the same thing. here. So this will form a square and this is where my album will sit in the envelope. Like that. And these are going to be the sides, the top and the bottom. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to use it as a template. I'm going to use my trimmer to score because it's a lot easier than using my scoreboard. So I'm going to completely remove my blade so I don't accidentally cut instead of score. And I'm going to use my bone folder. If you don't have a trimmer like this, you can go ahead and use whatever you have to score. So I'm going to score along so there's one line that goes down here, all the way down here. And then on this side, or following those lines. So I take my my card stock. It's a very thick scrapbook paper. It almost looks like card stock. So it's good for using for my envelopes. So I place this on my trimmer like that and I'm going to line up 
the end of the fold line like that. And then I carefully remove my paper and I score. Now I put my paper back on here and I'm going to do the opposite side. I line up my score marks. Make sure you keep your pattern always in the same direction over your paper. Okay? This is a rectangular here. This is the left and this is the right flap. That's the top bottom. Okay, so now I'm going to do the left and the right. and you'll be able to see a bit better. Now I want to leave, um, I want a one and a half in or a one and a quarter inch thickness of my envelope so that it accommodates the thickness of the album. So what I do is I take again my paper and I line up my score lines, but not where I'm going to score. I'm going to move this down and line up at the one and a quarter inch mark on my trimmer, like that, make sure it's nice and straight, and I score. And I do that all around. I'll show you on the template after what it looks like. It will be more visible. So what I just did, here's my score line and I added another score line about one and a quarter inches away. Like that. So that's what my template looks like now. Now, where I have these lines that intersect here, you'll see there are these little triangles that are formed here and here. 
I'm going to trim these off. sides don't worry if some of it gets notched out that's okay it's not going to be visible here that we're going to need for the album. That's going to fold up like that and this is going to fold like that. Now I need to notch out these little tabs. So here make sure that your envelope is facing with the top flap up and the side flaps on the side like that. And this little flap here, I'm going to trim right up to this score line here. And this is going to fold up like that. So I'm just going to, like that, on either side of the top and bottom flap. Same thing here. Now that will allow me to fold these in like that when I form the envelope. And then this is going to go up or like that. Now I don't need to have this point so long, so I'm going to trim this square across and I'll probably take off about an inch. So I'm just going to mark here an inch. And I want to make sure that I'm cutting straight across, so I'll use my trimmer. Up to my mark. bottom panel and it's going to attach over my envelope 
like that. So now I'm going to assemble the envelope. I'm going to take two-sided tape and I'm going to apply it. I'm going to actually, I'm going to put two strips because I want it to be nice and solid. And I apply it to this edge here. And that's going to attach to this section. And I'm also going to put a strip that goes down along this edge. So I do the same thing on this side, but I don't put any across the bottom. if I put the album in there, so I'll have some pressure when I'm attaching it. Okay, so I'm going to form that like that. And that's going to go like that. And make sure these are nice and straight. And I'm going to close the top lid too. up my edges. I can always cut and adjust my top flap if I need to. So that's pretty good like that. So I'm going to start by removing the side strip here and I guess this one too. do these edges. envelope or the envelo box. Now I have a little bit of this white showing here. I didn't cut it perfectly straight. So I'm just going to trim that. Okay. So next I'm going to finish embellishing my envelope and I'm going to embellish the cover of my little album inside. On this side of the envelope, I just attached one of these tags that I had in my paper collection, and this one comes from the Craftsmith Boardwalk Sherbet, which is the paper stack that I used to make this. Or at least most of it I used that paper stack. I might have used a few pieces that I had left over from other projects. So I just inked around the edges, and then I used some two-sided tape to attach that and I put a little bow with a pearl on here. So here you could write somebody's name if you wanted to or just put a title. I'm going to seal my envelope with magnets and then I'm going to attach this flower on the top. Now there are a lot of tutorials already on YouTube that show how to make these rosettes. 
so you can um, Google rosettes. Or if you want, I can make um, a quick video on how I make this. I've got two of them here. There's another one. And I just layer two rosettes, one on top of the other, with the button center. And before folding my first strip of paper, I just use my border punch and I punched around. And it doesn't matter if it's not punched evenly. You don't really notice it when, you're, um, when your strip of paper is folded anyways, and it just does a nice little lacy effect around your flower like that. Now there's two ways, or there's probably more than two ways, to um, attach your magnets. I'm going to place one magnet on top, and it's going to be covered with this flower. On the inside, you can either place your magnet on top here, and cover it with a die cut, or you can place it inside the envelope where it won't be visible. I'm going to place mine on the inside. Now when you position your magnet, you want to make sure that it's going to be low enough that it's not going to be up here where it won't attach properly, it's, and it's going to be hidden inside. So you can just sort of eyeball that. Now I'm going to start by putting a piece of two-sided tape on one magnet and I'm going to slide this one inside the album, inside the envelope. Okay, just like that. I don't need too much tape because I will cover it after to hold it in position. This is just for now to position it. Okay. So I'm going to judge, I'm going to have my magnet about here, so that would be about here. So I'm going to slide this in here, like that, and I can just close this flap down and I'll see where it goes. So that's pretty good. So I'm going to... So now that that's in place, I take a piece of two-sided tape and I just cover it like that. And I guess I'll remove the tape backing. So now I'm ready to attach my flower. So I put some glue from my glue gun on here, and I'm just going to position that over here and let it cool for a bit. So there we have it. That's cute. I decided to bling up my envelope a little bit. So I use these little flat back crystals, and I just got these from the dollar store, and I think they look kind of neat. And I also had some of these um, swirls, and I attached those on there, just to jazz it up a bit. And here's the embellishments on my mini album. I didn't put too many on there because I wanted to fit in the envelope without interfering. So what I did is I cut out the little envelope and the little heart and I include this little template along with the, um, the, the file that contains the dimensions for making this album. So you can just go ahead and download that. You can print the envelope on whatever cardstock or paper you want and it says first class all the way in keeping with the letter theme. And also I made it blend with the box envelope. I put some little crystals here and here. And for the heart, I cut it out and then I just attached a piece of chipboard underneath to make it more dimensional. So that's all that I did. Oh, and I also inked around the edges of the envelope. And here's the inside. You can put something here if you want. I left the inside plain for photos, and this is plain for journaling. And the little envelopes that I used in this album are uh, vintage ladies. 
and inside there's a little surprise. Each one has this little fold out note and the image corresponds with the image on the envelope. So here's the other one. And here where it says two, this is intended to either write someone's name or an address. I wanted to make it look like a real envelope. But if you don't want that, you can also maybe attach a little die cut heart on top just to cover that. Or you can just cover the right side with a photo or whatever you like. So this cute little purple heart. these little envelopes is blind and there's the, the image. On the back I always like to add a little die cut and then I just inked around the edges and you can put a date on there or a title if you like. So I hope you like this project and that you enjoyed making it. If you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me. I'm always happy to answer back. And I also love seeing pictures of your completed projects. So if you want to send some of those to me, I'd be really happy to see them. Have a nice day. Bye.